here, uh, Father Guadagnoli, Father Wade, and uh, just for those who are concerned with our last video, we are farther apart. He's not going to breathe on me, and I'm not going to breathe on him. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we want to visit with you today because we want to talk to you about, again, uh, continuing a series of our videos, not only to encourage you, but also to help you really to live your Catholic faith. This is a great time for us, really, to put our faith into action. By putting our faith into action, we're called to uh, not only live through prayer, but also through those corporal and spiritual works of mercy. We heard at the beginning of Lent, it's through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And so prayer is, you know, one of the important things. Fasting, again, you know, realizing that our Lord is the one who is guiding us and helping us. And of course, almsgiving. You know, that's where we, you know, we help out uh, the greater good, the greater community, certainly even the church. Uh, but we also are reminded that we are a people, uh, sacramental people. You know, we're called to live our, our faith, to practice our faith, certainly through the sacraments. Right now, we're having that difficult time of not being able to hold public masses. And so, you know, what, what can we do in that? Well, we talked to you last time about spiritual communion. Right, Father? We can talk about a spiritual community and, uh, you know, what you can do. And many of you are tuning in uh, online or on TV, all right, uh, EWTN, uh, among other places, and you're watching, you're even tuning in and watching us. You know, we have it on St. Monica's website, the Sunday Mass, in English and in Spanish. So you're, uh, you know, you're continuing to, you know, participate, if you will, at least through the media in Mass, and you're able to make that spiritual communion. So very important for us to make those spiritual communions. We are also, uh, you know, as a sacramental people, we are called to remember to, you know, participate whenever we can uh, in the sacraments. Again, one of the things we're also having difficulty with is we're not able to hear confessions on a regular basis. But Father and I are working on, you know, what we can do. You may have seen even in the news about priests hearing confessions confessions in the parking lot. And uh, so we're, we're, uh, we're looking at all the options. And hopefully we'll get back with you on uh, some better ways that you can participate in that sacrament too. And uh, just to, you know, again, not to lose sight that uh, we are called to live our faith you know, at home or wherever we are, uh, especially during these times. Yeah, I think that big thing to remember is that Nothing is the same as we know as uh, receiving the Eucharist in person. Watching Mass on TV never substitutes for going to Mass. Um, we can't hear confessions over the phone. We can't anoint you over the phone. That's part of the challenge of this time is that there's that human distance between us, which is what we're made for. We're made for closeness, not distance, because God is with us. God came to us. God entered a people to be um, amongst us. And the reality of the sacraments is, um, is God's tangible contact with our lives. So that's one reason why we very much look forward to that human closeness again, because it's, it's a sign of God's closeness with us too. So uh, as we hopefully soon will be back, gathered together for Mass, for confessions, for more easy easier trips to the hospital for anointing of the sick. Um, we remember that the sacraments are signs of God's closeness and a sign again of his presence with us through his church. So please continue to pray for a brief uh, separation from the sacramental encounter with Jesus and the church. And God willing, we'll all be back together here before too long in sacramental communion with Christ through his church. I want you to know we miss seeing you. We miss seeing you and listening to you here at St. Monica. And uh, while we are saying Mass every day, uh, you know, there is, we know that we, uh, we know that you're present with us spiritually, but we look forward to that, as Father said, the time we can be together again, physically, uh, again, with each other and with Christ. Father, we give you a blessing. Absolutely. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.